Hey guys, what's up? This is Mohammad Shamir and in this video tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to connect your Excel database with Java. So stay tuned. So welcome back guys. So now for connecting Excel database with Java we have we should have a database. So first we will create a database. Microsoft Access in Microsoft Access uh, click on create go to design view save give your table a name I will give it table 1 so I here I have a ID which is generated automatically okay so this is my first field my second field would be first name first name and it would be a text okay and my third field would be a last name it would also be a text so now open it back you have to save it all your tables now I will give it some entries first entry would be anything first name last name give whatever you want to give this could be okay so these are the two entries that I have saved in my database now I have to save my database go to save database as uh, I will give it name practice DB okay so now I will save it now we have created our own database okay so now we also have to configure our database and give it a data source so for that go to control panel go to administrative tool go to data sources odbc and you can see this window here now go to system dns click on add we have we will add our driver here so we are using microsoft access driver dot mdb dot acdb okay so double click on it now you have to choose select your database so where you have saved it I have saved in my documents here it is pdb select your database and then click on ok ok now give it a name I will give it pdb the same name ok so now click on ok now you can see your database here now click on click on ok again now you have configured your database so now we can code to connect our java with our database so now we are ready to connect our java project with our access database for there we have to import a library java.sql.steric <coughs> ok so now we can code inside our class connecting to db uh, for that we will make a method which will be public of connection type new connection okay the new connection is the name of my method so inside our matter I will declare three variables first one would be um, connection of connection type con okay so this connection type variable helps us to connect with our database the second variable is statement statement st and this variable helps us to access the uh, all the tables in our database okay and the third variable is result set result set So this variable is helpful in bringing the data from our database and print it our, on our screens and where we wanted it. Okay. Now we will declare a string type variable URL in which we will give the address of our database. But before the address we have to write something that's called jdbt colon uh, U K 
can access this is a driver on slashes see and now we will go to our database and look for its location uh, this is the location of our database copy it and now paste it here do not forget to put a semicolon there now we will make a try and catch block okay so this is try and catch which will be helpful for us to catch the exceptions which our java program or project will throw okay sorry it's sql ex okay So this will print the exception on its screen. So we, it will be helpful for us to know that was in the exception and clear it. Now inside the try block, we will make the connection inside the try block. So now we will finally use the connection uh, variable con equal to driver manager dot get connection and the URL. I have told you the <coughs> function of con connection variable. Here it is making the connection with your database. Okay, so now we will also use the statement type variable st equal to con dot create statement. I have also told you the purpose of the statement type variable that it allows the access to the tables in our database okay so now we will uh, declare an, a string uh, variable url inside which we will write the sql query select star from and the name of our table so the name of my table was table 1 as i can show you here uh, you can see the name of my table it is table 1 okay so now it's giving an error it's giving an error because the uh, variable name is already used so I will make it SQL okay so now after that I will finally you also use my result set variable rs equal to st dot execute query function and you have to write this uh, query inside here you can also write the whole query or make a variable for it it's uh, on your choice so I have also told you the function of this result type variable rs it is used to bring the data from your database as you know st statement type variable allows you the access to your tables inside your database and this come uh, statement is used to bring all the data from your tables and it is saving it in this variable rs so now how will we know that the connection is made or not so for that i will use a while loop and inside it i will add rs dot next next it's not next see it's next okay so what does this statement mean is there bring data from the tables that you have selected here <coughs> until there is data okay so it will bring the data from the uh, particular table that you added here until it has data so now i will 
make a string type variable, three string type variable, id, first name, last name, okay? So inside the first name, I will rs dot get a string. And inside the brackets, you can give the index or the name of your field. The index of your field or the name of the field. I will give the name of my field. So, what is what was the name of my field? It was first name. You have to write same as you wrote in your database. Okay. So now for id rs dot get a string function get a string oh. and the name the field oh. id okay now I will copy this and paste this paste it for the last name control C and control V. I will make it last name and the name of my third field was L A S T and name. I will show you here you can see the name of all the three fields first name, last name, and ID. It should be same inside here. Okay, so now to print uh, what this statement is doing. It's bringing the result from there from the table and saving it in ID, last name, and first name. Now I will print it on the screen system dot out dot uh, S should be capital print ln. Okay, inside this print ln. I will write id plus make a gap f name again plus make a gap and plus last name. Mm. Now it should be printed on the screen. So what's the error here? Uh, what's the error? Last name. It's saying the last name. So it was L name. You can see here. It's giving another L. The L. Okay. So now when we run the program, it should be printed on the screen. But before that, we have to create a main. And before that, we have to give it a return statement because our function was connection type. Okay. So I will give it return con. It is giving okay. Now we have to make a main inside it. We will create a object of our class connecting to DB. Okay, so now we will call the method. Our method was new connection. So now when I compile it, it should print all the data from the table I choose here. Table 1. Okay, so now let's run it and see that is it connected or not. So it's run running. And here you can see an exception that no suitable driver found for JDBC you can access. So you have to add some <coughs> libraries which can be easily you which you can download easily from the internet. You can access 4.0.1 or any other you can access drivers. Okay, so I have downloaded the drivers in the libraries. Go right click add jar folder. Here are so this is the you can access file which was downloaded and I have extracted it. Now you can add this you can access file. Open. There are four more libraries. 
you can go in the library folder and add these four so there are total five libraries add the libraries in the libraries okay so now we will run it and let's see is it working or not so finally you can see that our database is connected and it is bringing all the data from our database you can see that here one Sayyid Haris two Sayyid Haris these are the two entries which we added in our database as you can see here Sayyid one Sayyid Haris and I will zoom it I will magnify it that you can see it more properly okay so here you can see the result this is the our output screen one Sayyid Haris to user studio and now we will go to our database now here you can see Sayyid Haris on the first and second use of Surya. So I hope you guys understand it. If you like the tutorial, please like, subscribe, comment and share. Thank you so much and take care.